Just wanted to know, uh, I know you're heavily influenced by video games and whatnot, but just want to know what else has kind of influenced your career. Like what wrestler styles of wrestling and moments throughout uh, wrestling history have kind of helped shape yeah. who you are. That's a real good question. Um, I would say that when I was growing up, you know, of course, the big one was WWE, just what they were doing, what they had done. So I was into, you know, the the, the 90s style, you know, going into the Attitude Era. I was really into there. Oh, my cat. Look at the cameo. Um, I was really um, into the, into that stuff, of course. And then when I became more of like a teenager, we had um, – my friend via satellite was able to, to tune into ECW. So I was like, what, what is this? And, um, you know, I was able to kind of first see Rob Van Dam. And I remember being a huge fan of Taka Michinoku when I'd seen him um, at Canadian Stampede and what they did with the Land Heavyweight Division. I saw that Taka was there. It was super crazy. And uh, Nunzio and all those guys, uh, Tajiri. And um, so I, I, I did whatever I could to, to watch a lot of ECW stuff. And, then I remember going to our one tape trader that we had, which was 45 minutes away from my house. And it was in the corner of an art store of all things. So they'd sort of kind of tapered off a corner of this paint store and they had, um, you know, a lot of RF video type stuff. So it was like, you know, matches of the decade, matches of the past two decades, the best of all Japan, you know, best of women's wrestling. So I would just buy all that stuff and all that became my study material. And then when I finally started to train as a wrestler, um, my trainer, um, he had probably the greatest physical collection of wrestling that I've ever seen. And we would spend every Friday night, like from 10 PM to 6 AM until that Saturday morning. And we would study like wrestling from all around the planet. And we didn't really have like a, a real studied trainer that had traveled the globe and had a lot of accolades. So we would just take notes and then we would see what we would, what, what all these styles would have to offer. Then we would practice them. Um, every week, hours and hours and hours and hours before the show. So our shows would start at like 10.30 p.m. And we were there 4 p.m. to 10, th well, to about like 9.30, just studying the stuff that we would learn. And then we would study after the show as well. So for me, it was like, yeah, I would say my first breakthrough where I was like, you know, it was probably Mr. Perfect, I would say, was probably the first heavy inspiration for me as a wrestler. After that, it was probably Rob Van Dam. And then I got into like the Shinjiro Otani's, Takuma Shinoku's. Um, you know, then I would watch Kenta Kobashi Masao, you know, like all, all of the, the All Japan greats. And um, early 2000s, I was into a lot of Dragon Gate. I was watching a lot of Marafuji and Kenta. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it, it's, it's all over the place. But I, I try to always diversify my tastes because I never knew. I knew that there wasn't going to be one right style of wrestling. I knew the best style of wrestling was always going to be this amalgamation of a bunch of styles. So I tried to always keep an open mind. And even if I didn't like a certain style um, at its base, for example, like I don't think I could ever be strictly a Lucha Libre wrestler. But I know that what they do is such a a joy to watch and such an incredible art form that I knew if I could incorporate some of what they do into what I do, um, that it would make me a better athlete. So I don't know if that answers the question or not, but yeah, try, just try to yeah, be a, just try to be a studied performer and just try to be a fan of everything. It, much like it's the same way I am with music. Even it's like, I don't like one genre more than any others. I just like good music. That's it. <laughs> I hear you. Well, thank you so much, Kenny. I really appreciate your time. And, uh, you're welcome, man. Great question. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Have a good one.